What if I told you, you can make games using other games? <laughs> Remix Game Dev is when you take a game that someone else has already made and remix, remake that game in your own way. Today, I'm gonna show you a game that somebody made and then how that game was remixed, remade into a new game. And then how that game got remixed again same, same, but different. And finally, how I took that game and remixed it into like a cyberpunk game. At the end of this video, I'll show you how you can download the game making app that's available on iOS and Android. Make and play games all in one place. Links down below or in my bio. I'm Hypesy, I'm making play games everywhere. Where's my coffee? Lots of sugar, lots of cream. First game we're gonna look at is called Rock Test by Call Me B Monkey. The mechanics are simple. You play a dude and you have to destroy these different sized rocks by walking up to them, tapping a punch button. Each punch gets a point and after 100 points, you can spawn more dudes to help mine the rocks. The game starts off a bit slow. Once you spawn more dudes, you get more points allowing you to spawn more dudes. And now we have a satisfying feedback loop. It's very satisfying. Remix number one, Rock Tycoon Idol by Alu. With the push of a button, Alu took the original game and developed it even more. In this game, the punch button has been removed and mines automatically. Destroy the rocks, you get gems that allow you to purchase new miners. The more you advance in the game, the more diverse types of miners you unlock. From a generic miner with a yellow helmet to a robot that moves and mines super fast to a Steve who looks like he's from Roblox and moves hella fast. A creeper looking like he's from Minecraft and explodes like a bomb. Next, a Vilmu, a lady who mines with a dope laser beam that destroys any mine it touches. A Casey, a big hungry dude who's slow moving but eats the mines like popcorn. And finally, a brand new Digitoids looking like a Pokemon who spins like there's no tomorrow. Additional updates include the ability to purchase a magnet to collect gems, a speed boost making it easier to travel deeper into the cave and a minor spawn indicator on the top left which helps keep the game running smoothly. This game has been continuously updated since its release. If you could remake any game, what game would you make? Mm. Let me know in the comments below. Remix number two, we have Valhalla Invasion Idol by Potato Chan. In this remix, we can see that the theme has changed. We have an isometric world. Instead of mining rocks, we are Vikings destroying villages for the good old coin. We must also watch out for enemies and with enough loot, boss fights. A nice addition to this game is that the buildings and enemies respawn over time. The characters have been updated to include a fighter who's got simple clothes and a dagger, a warrior with an axe and horned helmet, a chief with armor, a bigger horned helmet, and a dope looking sword, a warlord with golden armor, and a crown, a shaman looking like a witch with the spell book, and finally Thor, the god of thunder, who does hella damage. This game just had a major update, expanding the size of this world along with the challenges. If you like these videos where I talk about making and playing games, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button as it helps the algorithm. Lastly, my remix, Cyberpunk City Idol. I probably could have started from scratch and figured out a lot of these mechanics, but definitely not all of them. It would have taken me hours to figure out how everything worked. Instead, I duplicated the game in a matter of seconds, and that leaves me a lot more time to do and focus on my favorite thing, which is world building. With the cyberpunk theme, I added graffiti, put in skyscrapers, flying ships, and even giant robots. Glowing signs that say obey, if you know, you know. And mixing in multiple assets like a Patagonia, sci-fi objects, Next, I reskinned all the characters to make them more cyberpunk. We got the punk who's got cool hair and neon clothes, a nomad who looks like he's someone from Mad Max, corpos, 
wearing ties and a motorcycle helmet, or gas mask, a cyborg half man, half machine, a hacker wearing a hoodie, AR goggles, and has a sci-fi gun. Instead of Thor, I replaced him with Keanu. He was in the cyberpunk trailer, so I had to include him in my game. Other final details were added later, like having a spaceship move when going from one level to the next. I also copied and pasted the count mechanic from Rock Tycoon Idol, and I spent a lot of time on the color palette, trying to make this world look as cyberpunk as can be. If you like to play and make games on your phone, tablet, laptop, whatever, check out Hype Hype how to download. The app is currently not released, what? but anybody can sign up with an email. Go here, select download the app, and fill out the form. And where it asks where you heard about Hype Hype, mention me, Hypesy, as that will speed up the application process. Hype Hype will send you a download link within two to three business days. Three days later, you've got mail. If you'd like to see other games I've made, check out my other videos, making games from scratch, remixes, and tutorials and walkthroughs. If you've ever wanted to make games, have a phone, what are you waiting for? If you have any game ideas, let me know in the comments below. I'm Hype C, and until next time, stay safe out there, and peace. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculously,